So one of the biggest announcements out of Ignite was Microsoft Loop. And, and the, the question, I saw this instantly in feedback, like Twitter and you know community chatter, was where does Microsoft Loop fit with Microsoft Teams? So I hate to be the one guy here to say this, but I didn't get to attend any of the Ignite content. So what? I, I am not familiar with Loop. Can you give us you the 30,000 foot? I haven't seen anything, man. I've been totally heads down. Yeah, so if you go in and well, you look I, at the micro, for those that aren't familiar with it, you, the, the Microsoft 365 blog has, uh, it's a new full-fledged, you know, product. It is, um, it's like a next generation Microsoft Office. So it's a, what's the best way to, I, I, I like describing it as a new Microsoft Office Canvas okay. that incorporates a bunch of different things. So it is a collaborative space that is using the uh, the loop components. So the, the real time collaborative components. So for example, you might, I might we're working on a project um, together. I might then, as we have chat that's going on, we're co-editing on a, a, a like a Word document <laughs> type thing. But as we're talking about it, we might be moving, you know, uh, the order around. We might be doing sidebar comments, asking questions. Might then insert, hey, you know, this is relevant to this data that's out in our CRM system, or add a poll question, and people can respond to it you know, right there in real time. So it's the live components. So it allows you to jointly collaborate on, on something while pulling components from elsewhere, the hmm. CRM platform from a Microsoft list somewhere from SharePoint, components and OneDrive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Components of what, how? Components and people. Oh, okay. and, correct. The, 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 the space, um, if there are other people that you think might be involved with this, you can actually loop them in. And in the process of looping them in, they get access to everything that you've been doing across all the various platforms you've been doing it on. Oh, nice. It's pretty so It sounds like it doesn't do anything revolutionary, but it streamlines common things that trip people up, like maybe access and getting yeah. uh, documents and things. The demonstration I saw even, even included a... Uh, a, uh, a virtual workroom, which looked very much like Altspace AR, except it was a lot cleaner, nicer, and prettier. And that's that cool. kind of interesting. I'm wondering whether they're going to loop that in or not. Um, Altspace VR is something that I've gotten exceedingly fond of as of Ignite because I was involved in the six <clears throat> Altspace VR sessions that were held uh, during the two day event. Uh, that was basically you had a landing zone uh, in in teams, and then you could head off to three different rooms on each one of the sessions where you got to talk to subject matter experts. And the beauty of it was you were in a room, literally cool. in a room, and you could be off in one corner talking to some people. There'd be another conversation going off in another part of the room. You can sort of hear the conversation, uh, and you can turn away from it or to it like you're in a real. Like you're in a real room, it was a thing of beauty to behold. Yep. And then Me mesh is and like it, a whole nother topic. between the three rooms. And yeah. yeah. Well, nevertheless. Like, sorry. Yeah, mesh is a whole whole different I mean, topic. The to get out of. Yeah, yeah. But it's a uh, you know sure. you know but the loop specifically the it, it, it instantly made me think of the gig jam announcement a few years back, which is actually 2015. It has, we finally see it, it's like live now with the loop components, um, part of the vision of that uh, gig jam. So Sherry, you had a question, your hand is up. <laughs> I said I said a comment. To me, you know, the Teams is seems to be like the structure, so it's around, around the groups. I always direct people to create their teams around the, who needs to work together, the channels or what are they working on, and the tabs across the top or how are they gonna get that work done. But loop seems to be a little more fluid than that. So it, it's like we're working on a document. So you can create a workspace. That's it to me. It looks like a workspace. Does anybody else feel that way? Like it? Well, I think that's that's the thing. 
and, and Norm, sorry, not ignoring your hand is also up here, but there's th so back to Sean who didn't pay attention. Um, three, <laughs> there's three, com so there's components. The, so the loop components, there are loop pages, and then there are the uh, the loop workspace, which is it's in a whole standalone app. I actually was thrown for a loop. Uh, <laughs> the fact that there was a yet another full app. I knew that it was like the components. I thought it was just going to be an integrated component. Like I could see, like that you have a a a loop page or workspace that you is just once we have you know deeper integration with Teams. There's loop components that are available now. I actually just noticed it on my work tenant today. Uh, in fact, so we're we're able to go and add those things into a chat and add live components in, which you'll be able to leverage and, and, and use elsewhere. I just assumed that that's how we would consume, how we would see team uh, or loop was through Teams as a primary interface, not as a standalone application. I don't know when that's coming out, but um, that, again, threw me for a loop. But in I, Norm, I you had a question. Sorry. Sorry. I think it's going to cause more confusion about where do I go now? Because, you know... That's what we're doing. <laughs> so, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, it's uh, loop is interesting, and it's not something that I initially paid attention to, but the more I watched the the teaser videos, I was left with the impression that it's very much like OneNote, where you have the ability to yeah. freeform content into it. Yep. But with the additional power of the co-authoring experiences that you get in something like Excel. And so the demos are are always great at an event like Ignite, but as you said, Christian, it, it is starting to light up in people's tenants in Teams chats. And so in practice and in real function, it is really almost as effective as you see in those demos. So it's quite easy to, to move content, to, to build dynamic lists. I think that uh, uh, it, it's going to be one of those things that people will, will create a, a, a loop list versus something like a SharePoint list. Like it's just going to be much easier for them to collaborate together. There won't be a dependency on any one person, but it is quite interesting. And there's going to be a hierarchy of those different components, right? The ones we get inside of Teams chat, the pages, and then eventually that that workspace. So it's going to be very similar to some of the hierarchies that we have in Teams, right? With the team, uh, the channel, the tabs and stuff like that. So those are my observations of it. It's, it looks pretty exciting. Well, <clears throat> um, it seems so it talks a lot about extending the fluid framework and the fluid framework has been really interesting to me um, because it's uh, all that office integration stuff. Um, because so basically what's happening is think about it this way instead of having to build a connector or an API to bring productivity information into something like teams. It's now kind of built in its own area where we can say, okay, I want to integrate directly with this thing. And I've got a component like Norm was saying to bring in to use. So this is a manifestation of fluid. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. That gotcha. was yeah, the, the big I'm thing. excited so, about right. it. So that that aspect of it, I mean, we knew it was coming. This this was not new. It's the packaging of it. And then like I said, the the way that they broke it up into workspaces, pages, and components. And uh, and then thankfully, it, this is not one of those times where they announce something which sounds really exciting, and then there's nothing for us to touch, you know, <laughs> and, and look at kick, kick tires around for months or years. Like it's available, uh, it's out there. So it has to be enabled within your tenant, but you can play with loop components today. I have a lot of clients who are going to be really, really excited because there's a lot of features that we've worked on that I essentially, you know, we, we haven't built custom um, yet, right? And I think this is going to solve some of those needs to integrate some of that productivity stuff. Um, this is your, this is your area, Sherry, where, you know, it's all the graph stuff. I mean, it's all the, the waffle stuff, right? This, where's yeah, the waffle? Yeah. Well, guess what? The waffle showed up this time. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Neil, do you have anything to explain yourself, Mr. Microsoft? Uh, you know, any thoughts, your impressions on it? Um, I'm, I'm, well, for lots of things, I'm a little bit like Sean in this respect. I'm too busy to attend Ignite these days, so I don't get to see very much. I'm in catch-up mode, reviewing all of the recordings. So 
And um, what I've seen looks interesting, um, but I'm not I'm not immersed in it and understand it really to the point where I could talk in any way authoritatively <laughs> about what it's supposed to do and what it's all about. Just being honest. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's valid answer. But uh, all right, that well, that's uh, I, it's, there's a lot to look at, and and uh, folks, if you've again, I, I I recommend that you go take a look at the Microsoft 365 blog, so the Microsoft blog, and go and look specifically around the announcements around Microsoft Loop. So that's where you'll see links to the demos, kind of a an explainer, of, you know what you know what Microsoft is doing, kind of the future vision for this, uh, and time frame for uh, expecting uh, additional aspects of Loop to become available.